G'day, he dubbed you, and how you doing? Welcome to the channel, and in today's video, we're going to replace the front seat belts in our 71 Combi. One of our biggest frustrations with this car are these seat belts. Um, they are non retractable, so they just joined up here and down there. And you get off the car and they're either hanging down like that, or I throw them back on the seat, and then you get in the car and you pull them off. And then when you get in, we're going to try and find your seatbelt now that's hanging over there. Um, put it across you. And of course on this side then, these are also always lying on the floor. They're not ready to go. And we're then going to try and find these two together. And then you tighten it like that. Now, it may sound like a, a petty gripe, <laughs> but believe me, if you drive this car every day or every second day, it actually does become a bit annoying. So, what I've bought is a uh, retractable seat belt. So that'll fit down the bottom. Um, it's then got the piece that will fit up top, um, that will go back across your lap, and then of course that clip fits into a firm upright, so that will bolt on there like that, and that will always stay in position ready to go, so it will be much easier to put your seatbelt on. And when you take it off, it'll actually roll up out the way. So I'm going to install those as well, just because, um, yeah, it's really annoying to have these old loose seatbelts. Right, so with the seatbelt, we will start at the low fitting here. And it's a... 19 millimeter socket. So let's undo that. So what I'll do is I'm going to reuse the same bolts. Um, I'm assuming they came with full fogging, so I'll stick to using these bolts. Next we have to take the seatbelt off of the top connection there. So that plastic clip just comes off to push up. It's half off already, just sort of slides on. Once again, there's a large bolt you just need to undo. And in this case, it was so loose, I didn't even need a socket or a spanner. Um, yeah. So just undoing that now. View. But once again, it's those same bolts. Um, we've got the thread and then a shaft for the seat belt to sort of rotate around. And 
mostly you have these. This one's also got like a felt washer on it. I'm not too sure what that's for. doesn't actually fit. Um, I don't know whether to drill these out or not. very long but uh, they do fit on so let's use them There are 17. Okay, so the last step, I'm just going to put a cable tie to pull them closer to the seat. Pulling the bed. Too tight. You just want it out the way. 
Uh, I think that'll do. So let's just turn that out of the way. I think that's fine. Perth weather, summer that never rains, and we've got a bit of a rainstorm. So I've just pulled the combi here, so I've got a bit of cover over the rain, and I'll finish the seat belts. That's the main piece there. So, what we're going to want to do is probably have that like that. So, just get that fitting. That fitting will go down there. Um, pop that there. Um, this is one of the old original bolts, but um, this came in the kit and you can see it's, it's got the uh, Loctite already on it, as well as a spring washer. Right, so, uh, no, let's, let's go through the fitting. Do that. It should fit over. Why is it not fitting? Yep. And the lock tight nut. Now let me just tighten that up. All right, that's it there. That needs to go up on the side. It goes across, and this piece then comes back. So what I now need to do is put a bolt in there. installed down there. Um, now I've just got this piece which needs to go back up there. So this plastic cover Just before I started the video, uh, 
I'm going to give you a massive storm tonight. But anyway, I've got that bolt tightened up. Josh is going to show us, he's going to get in and put the seatbelt on. So come on Josh. And how cool is that? It's good. Better than it was. Yeah. And that's it. Job done. Thank you for watching. Take care. And God bless. Thanks again for watching. And be sure to like, share, subscribe. And leave me any comments.